Hey everybody, welcome back. We are going to be doing the Basilisk Challenge spawn today. And I got my buddy Jess with me, and we are going to be starting that right now. So let's see what we can do, see if we can ha handle this with two people. If not, we may end up calling in some backup. So you want to go to the ice dungeon. I happen to have a rune marked here, um, but it's going to be back here in the area where the white worm spawn is where my rune is, because I do it right back here where it's a little safer. Jess, did you want to mark a rune? Yep, done one already. All right. So let's head this way, and I will show you all where the uh, actual location is for the challenge. So once you've done this and you have your basilisk, it's much easier to actually do it because a lot of the stuff here is pure cold damage and the basilisk is immune to cold. So most of the damage you see going onto my pet at this point is going to be um, either one damage or a lot of the stuff um, will hit a little bit harder, but nothing near like if you were to bring a uh, monster here that didn't have the actual cold. So right up here in this little little chasm here, you're going to start to see the actual uh, emote you're going to get for the start of the spawn. Pet's over here trying to be a hero. I'm on a rampage. But as you can see, barely taking any damage because this stuff doesn't hit very difficult um, because he does have an a, you know, immense amount of cold resistance. I guess I can show you all. Cold resistance is at 100%. Now, being 100, it does actually limit you on what the other resistances can be. I went ahead and went with 100% or 80% physical and 80% fire because I do fight the dragons a lot more than anything. Jess, have you done this one before? No, never been here. Okay. This should be a challenge for sure. But I'll keep your nightmare up as well on my list here. Monitor. It seems to be coping really well so far. Yeah, I haven't even had to heal yet on my pet. I'm very good. I guess I can do that now. See, here we go. Now back up. That's right. a lot of spiders. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Let me uh, shoot my pet in there first, get the aggro, and then send in yours. All right, you're good to go. Is that a AOE nightmare? Yes. Awesome. Mine is pure single target, so that's going to be great. You'll, you'll do the AOE damage, and my guy will be able to handle those... Uh, those uh, like iron golems or whatever they're called, those colossus creatures. I mean, yeah. So I have done this once before, um, and I can tell you that, that the difference in having the basilisk here versus having any other pet is is huge. The basilisk is going to be well. I guess it would be basilisk, or there's the white worms are pretty strong when it comes to ice resistance. Well, But Jess is going to be a huge help here because my pet is single target only. Um, so this is going to be a lot better <laughs> without having to fight everything one at a time. My pet is taking quite a bit of damage, but nothing drastic. Well, yeah, unfortunately my pet is going to grab the aggro of one thing and the other one, the other one is just going to be distance aggro. So um, your pet with that AOE is probably going to, going to suck up some of that damage. Go ahead and pull your pet back. Okay, oh, you already got that. Put this guy on. Brian, to stay close enough to get a bandage. Uh, right now, just go ahead and back up, and when your pet gets low, just pull it back to you. Follow. 
Because at that point they should they should transfer aggro over to the uh, to the basilisk. And what is your taming in lore? Uh, 115 lore, 111 taming. Okay. Um, I think that'll be good enough for the Basilisk. If not, I'll go ahead and tame it for you and, and move from there. I think it'd be safer if you tame it, as this is my first time. No, no, I, I'm going to let you tame it. I'm not going to do it for you if, if you can. <laughs> You just want to see me sweat. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Um, if you're sitting at 111, that means that you probably capped at 115, is that correct? Um, no, I've messed up my skills on this, and I haven't changed it. No, no, I'm, I'm saying the, the maximum is 115, right? You used the 115 scroll? Oh, yeah. It's okay. Just, uh, so when we're done with this, uh, with this challenge spawn, we'll go ahead and... Um, go over how to get that to 115 in just a few minutes. Get the pet all juiced up and then crack in the other one. That. Okay, good enough. See, here we go, ice strips. So, uh, back up a little bit. Strangely enough, my um, dragon slaying bow does not seem to actually affect the ice drakes like it does other dragons, which is kind of strange, but I've noticed that on the treasure hunting, and I've noticed it here. Because usually I'm smacking for like 120, 140 with this bow on the dragons, but for some reason on these it doesn't. Could that be because these are special spawns rather than just random spawns? Yeah, it could be. Could be. I'm not 100% sure on it. All right, there we go. Back up. Oh, it's just it's just one. Never mind. I'm just dragging some friends down from up top, unfortunately. Yeah, that's no problem. The actual dragons themselves, see, when, when you get close, they, they, they transfer aggro over to the player for some reason. So it's real difficult to get your pet tamed, or healed. Well, you can see my poison AoE working its magic there. Oh yeah, and these are low mobs, so the, the, the poison will do wonderful. I can tell you that if it was any other pet, these uh, actual ice dra or the frost dragons are very very powerful. Yeah. So yeah, exactly the the basilisk. Is, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, this or like an ice worm is almost required for this spawn, or at least one person to have. It is one of the pets on my list. So. Well, today is your lucky day. Hopefully. And my pet's getting his butt kicked enough to pull him back out. But he is really tough. But watch the damage he does on the on the basilisk. I mean it's very, very low. Well the cool thing about getting one is is you can actually help other people get them just based on the fact that the damage is so much lower on them. So I'm not 100% sure if we just lucked out and got the Paragon, but uh, we definitely got the Paragon. Yeah, see, my pet seems to grab aggro just a little bit too easily. Which is surprising considering your pet is a uh, single target specialist. Yeah, I'm not sure why that would be.
Well, this is going to be a marathon, but we are getting him down. Yeah, he's lost for about 25% of that. Yeah. For some unknown reason, I didn't have my bow in my hand. It's holding time. Ah, uh, yeah, it's because you used, uh, you used Mark. <laughs> uh, yep. Hopefully that's my nude mistake done. Okay, your pet's nearly dead, mate. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm up here now. Do you have Bushido as a skill? I do. Are you using that momentum strike? Yeah. Before I had my bow on, I was wondering why it wasn't firing. <laughs> got it, got it, okay. Oh man, that's a nice bow. I just realized your boat, your boat's real nice. <laughs> it's not too bad. I love Especially the mana leech. I need to get one with yet. mana leech. That way I can just start spamming my specials. The minute we get this guy down, we are going to back up uh, because I'm not 100% sure on the order that these things spawn in. But one of them are these ice mites that are—they—they they literally zerg you. It's like it's like the zerg off Starcraft. They come all at you at once, and um, there are numerous times like. that I've been destroyed by them immediately. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give our pets a top off. Oh, yours is good. Okay. We yeah, all managed to stay right next to it. All right. We'll stay down here for just a second. Oh, cool. These are the trees. These are easy. difficult yeah I think there's a second wave of trees to I'm back horse yeah second wave of trees So after these, um, since they did position them a little bit more to the uh, actual east, or I'm sorry, west here, we'll have to have you run back real quick, just in case the next wave is mites. 
That way, uh, we don't end up getting you, you know, murdered by the mites. Or... I know that there are Colossus as well. I don't remember if the mites come first or they're after that, so we'll have to find out. I'm down the bottom of that uh, corridor. Okay. I'm going to finish these two trees off and then I'll be down there as well. So far it seems two person can do this quite comfortably. Yeah, th this isn't anywhere near the hard part. Cool. Um, I think that the hard part though, even if, even if you know, obviously it's going to be a little more difficult. I think that if we can single these targets out one on one, or even two on one if need be, I think that we'll end up being okay. Oh shoot, okay. Back up. Okay, so there's see how bad it's just wrecking the horse? Mm. So these are the ones I was telling you about, the, the mites. They're uh they do like major cold damage, so they don't really hurt the lizard that much. Or the basilisk, I called him pet smart lizard. But we've got two of them down here. We'll get get, get some more back. There are two waves of these. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to fight two waves of them, but uh, I think that we're—I think we'll be fine just based off the damage they're doing to the to the basin. Well, I'm out bandaging the damage, so two at a time is not a problem. And people sell these on the, the Basilisk, on the vendor search, and it's like, man, if, if you can do it with two people, and you get this kind of gold off of it anyways, just by slaying the creatures, I would literally just want to raffle these away. Like, you know what I mean? Just give them out to people that need a, need a good gold pet. Mm, absolutely. Well, I've picked up nearly 8k just from the random stuff so far. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at 17, and it, we haven't even got to the parts where they dropped the good gold yet, so... Alright, let me get my pet a top up here while this one's finishing off. I bet we could take three. Let me get these topped up. Well, I was out healing the damage, so... Yeah. We can certainly give it a try. I certainly hope that person doesn't interfere. Oh no, it's 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 Kuvir. She, she's she or he. I don't know if it's a guy or not. Um, they're awesome. But if it's someone you know, then that is fine. Ooh, I think we just got four. Just took a whooping. Yeah, I'm definitely pulling aggro on these. Yeah, they've got a cold aura that's doing 
probably way really damage. Yeah, if you get close enough, it will. That, that's why it's so difficult to, to heal your pet. Is because like when you get up there, you start taking damage yourself. Oh, I grow it off me. Yeah, it's just, it's just two waves of these bugs, and then I believe there's two waves of the Colossus things. And the Colossus things are hard, but it's more of a time game, um, whether or not you can out-damage their regeneration. Mm. And they do that... This with... little spot is, is good for being able to maneuver about. Yeah, yeah. Um, the or Colossus also have this thing, I guess, I guess it's like a riposte or whatever, but it'll deflect damage back to you, so it, they can be pretty challenging. Um, if you do the armor ignore, which I don't know what kind of... Oh, yeah, I guess you would have it on the bow you have, huh? I don't know. Okay, so for the special attacks on your bow, you should have, uh, the mortalized shot, right? Mortal strike? But mortal strike and paralyzing blow. Okay, so on the Colossus, we'll just... You'll have to do mortal strike and keep it up. That way it'll, it'll, it'll deter their regeneration. I think we should be fine at that point. Hey. Yeah, that's actually perfect. I'm glad, dude. I'm really glad you. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm glad you're here. All right, let's get back here. I don't know why there's a rat. Oh, it must just be the pheromone. Just burn these down real fast. Poison IOE went off anyway. I never have too much damage. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Come here, bug. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down. Just because this is the last bug. So that way we don't get caught in the wave of the other one. Mike's coming. How many? Just one. Your pet poisoned that ice elemental from like way over here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that poison breath has got a hell of a range. And cause problems sometimes though. So, what did you do on the black horse, the, the black nightmare that you said messed it up? What did you end up doing? I chose the magical attack, uh -huh. that's poison. I then chose the AoE poison breath. Okay. And then that locked out any other attack choices. Yeah, but that's not even so bad, because that means that you'll be able to Poison Breath more. You won't have to cycle through more skills to get back to Poison Breath. That might not be a bad thing. That is true, but I have put a, quite a few 110 scrolls on it, and I've still got 900 points left. Yeah, I, the one I've got, it, 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 it ended up with a ton of points at the end, because uh, obviously it's a one slot, so you get a, just a tremendous amount of stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's because the if I'd have been able to put Furious Whirlwind on, I think that costs five hundred. Yep, because you've got to get uh, you've got to get ninjutsu. That's the only thing that's messed up on it. Um, don't have Furious Whirlwind on it. It's just a little bit frustrating. I don't know. I, I still feel like it would be good, and I honestly think that it would be good for. Uh, 
for all like the in between attacks too, like on on one or two mobs because of the poison. Should be two. They're getting stuck for some reason up here. I don't know why they're. Oh, here we go. You can come up on these two. There, there's one left up there that we can kill before we end up with the next wave. So right before we kill the the last guy, um, the last Colossus guy thing that we have to kill, I want you to, to recall out, put your pet up, and then come back. That way you're ready to kill or ready to tame that Vasquez right away. I've got one of the uh, pet leashes, so I can... Yeah, I don't think you can use it in a dungeon. You know. It's a shame. And uh, at the very end, after the Basilisk is tamed, I'll fight our way over to where we spawned in for the uh, the White Worm or the White Worm's uh, recall in, and then um, I'll get on my other character and, and make a portal so you can get it out of here without it getting killed. Because <laughs> I don't have a bonding scroll on me. If you want to go grab one of those now, you could do that. But either way, we'll, we'll, we'll get it out. I don't have enough sovereigns to buy it anyway. Okay, gotcha. So, we'll just play it safe and do it slow. Alright, I'm dragging this thing down. So the minute this bug dies, we should get the, uh, the next spawn. It's going to be the Colossuses. We'll kill that spawn. And then another spawn of Colossus will come in, and then when we get down to like the last one or two of those, go ahead and go put your pet up. Hey, I will endeavor to be as quick as possible. Well, the the Colossus actually, it, the, the, they take a long time to kill, so. And you've got a hundred hide, right? I thought that, sir. You got a hundred hide. Like the hiding skill? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, when you spawn in over there, you'll have to run past some mobs. But when you get to right, right around this area, just go ahead and, and hide. That way you won't swarm us. There we go. Oh, man. Maybe they were always Paragon and I just didn't remember. But that feels like really bad luck. walked in the front door and being <laughs> extremely loud. How dare they be vocal in their own home? Uh -huh. How inconsiderate.
All right, so one down. Now we've got like I think it's like four. Five, maybe oh wow, maybe it's. Certainly dish out the damage those ones. Bringing it back. You're doing great with them. The Mortal wounded. I'm just hitting the button every two seconds. <laughs> I don't know how often it fires off. Just keep an eye on your own health too, because if you're hitting these things with your arrows, it'll it'll deflect that damage back. Ah, he was like, "No, -uh, I don't want you demortalizing me anyway." <laughs> Yeah, a little bit too much aggro on my horse, but... I think it's because I I had mine follow me for, to get it back down here and then it reset the aggro. seem to be reflecting that much damage back to me. It's beating me up, huh? <laughs> I don't know how. I'm only taking between four and six. Oh, I see. I'm taking 22 a hit. You may have better armor than me or something. Though. I, I really need to work on this, on this character's gear. I spent like a tremendous amount of money on that uh, Spellweaver. I really needed to, I really need to spend more money on this guy. You're going. Well, you know how much money I had in the bank two days ago? I've got less than half of it left. That's how much I've spent. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Well, you can always get more money. Absolutely. I really don't even farm for gold anymore. I just farm for, you know, legendary pets. And I end up getting a tremendous amount of money just doing that. You could almost make a business out of it. Mm-hmm. Like damage is you whooping your butt. Yeah, I know. It's like I can I can heal through it, but if I don't pay attention, then it's like I look down and I'm at like 10%. <laughs> and now I can think of is, is the gear I've got. Must be reducing it somehow.
sticks. I think there's only one more. Let me burn off these guys up here real fast and then I'll drag it down. And we've got one more wave after this, have we? Yeah, one more wave. <coughs> Bless you. Looks like they just keep spawning in a little trash mob, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. We'll just drag it down. Hey, if you were looking for chests, there's a. I'm seeing like two or three, maybe even four of those uh, Paragon chests here. If you don't have lock picking, I can unlock them and de trap them for you. Not lock picking, but my. Uh... Remove traps, sucks. Yeah, that one that one was the worst for me to load, level up to. To be honest, I have not looked at a single piece of loot. Every time the loot gun comes <laughs> up. <laughs> oh dear. Man. Wah, wah. <laughs> Remember, you brought me along to do the noob stupid stuff. Yeah, facts, man. <laughs> uh, you know what it is, Jess? Is, is I'm sitting here and I'm not focusing on the damage reflect it's doing, and it just ends up marking me out. Okay, so let me get this guy killed up. The good news is, is only one more wave of these things, and then we should be, we should be right to the, uh, the Basilisk. Just to remind me, once this second wave is complete, I recall out, stable my pet, and come back. Uh, yep, we'll wait till we engage the final Colossus, and then just go ahead and recall and come back. You'll have plenty of time. These things take forever to kill. sure I don't mess anything up, I should take off my bow. <laughs> yes, yeah. There will be no <laughs> killing things. Definitely take off the bow. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I do not want to repeat of that fiasco. It happens. I was actually with uh, another player doing the Charlie run and we had like six people there helping and at the end of the actual run itself he just he just killed the charlie <laughs> i was like okay this is uh this is not good oh wow it's already here okay man this is a really cool looking one too all right go recall out Man, I'm super jealous. Man, 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 man. Ah! This is amazing. That basilisk looks fantastic. I've actually never seen one that color, which is really cool. It's like a, it's not blue at all. It's like a red and a white. Uh, I'm dragging a white worm. 
Okay, j just heal it. Or oh, not heal it. Hide whenever you get close. You can actually hide yeah. while you're running. I don't think people understand that, and it'll just drop the aggro. Yep. Um, uh, I should be with you in a second. Take your bow off. And you have peacemaking? Uh, not on this one. Okay, so honor tainment? One element will kick in my butt. Back in so. Let me, let me tell the other guy we need to get away. Oh, that element always kicking my ass. Son of a Good job I've got a macro set up for this. I don't know what they're doing. I have no idea why they're not hiding or visiting or something. You could have already had this thing tamed if it wasn't running all around the whole time. That's not really a problem. How much you could do with the exercise. Gotcha. Probably thinks he's doing me a favour, keeping it wandering around in circles. Come on, tame it. I think my 111 taming is hurting me here. See, now it's going to be too angry to tame. sight of this thing. Wide or something, just don't let the thing hit him. Oh, Looks like the honor timing thing didn't work. It makes me so mad. Like, I'll be right back. I'll try and stay alive long enough. Almost comical at the moment. Alright, now I need you to go away. <laughs>
Oh no, this is where my chivalry fizzles are annoying. It says it's too angry to continue taming them, but I'm not I'm not hitting it. It's not hitting me. I don't understand what's going on. Okay, well I'm hidden. Here we go. A little bit frustrating, I couldn't time it myself, but Doing it this way is better than dying trying. Hey, well, Jess, thank you for joining me on this. I think this is awesome. I'll get this over to you. Let, let's get it out of here first, and then I'll transfer it over to you. 